Plasma formation consists of the localized ionization produced by a high voltage forming a DC arc between an anode and a cathode. This allows it to produce a plasma flame with extremely high temperatures and high speeds of 800 meters per second. Wow, that's one tenth of the speed of a space bubble. And what about the temperature? The temperature of the plasma flame can reach up to 30,000 degrees Celsius. Wow, that's a lot of heat. Yes, so when we introduce ceramic particles, they're immediately heated and they are accelerated towards the metallic substrate. But why did you use plasma spray for the cooking? Because of the high heat produced, high melting point materials such as ceramics and refractory metals can be easily sprayed in order to produce stronger, denser, and more uniform coating. But how do the coating smell? Oh, I can explain that! In the coating process, the molten ceramic particles impact the metallic substrate and rapidly cools, forming individual splats as a response to the temperature difference. The rapid deformation and solidification of the heated particles form dislike splats on the substrate, where the shape of these splats will influence the physical properties of the coating. And because the process heats the particles so fast and accelerates them immediately, the thicknesses of the coatings can have 300 to 1500 microns. That seems so looking versus your all process. Yes, and not only that, the ceramic coatings on the metallic substrates can have a bond strength of 15 to 25 megapascals. And where can we use this coating? Well, we can use it for the spraying of thermal barrier coatings in turbine blades, sensors of thick films, as well as orthopedic implants. And not only that, we can use it for Beyonce's garments. Because material science and engineering makes it possible.